Part 7. Military Keynesianism. The leading sectors of the economy, including cybernetics, communications, and military industry, have their sales and profits virtually guaranteed by the state. The entire manufacturing sector as a whole was permanently expanded beyond recognition by an infusion of federal money during World War II. In 1939, the entire manufacturing plant of the U.S. was valued at $40 billion. By 1945, another $26 billion worth of plant and equipment had been built, two-thirds of it paid for directly from government funds. The top 250 corporations in 1939 owned 65% of plant and equipment, but during the war operated 79% of all new facilities built with government funds. Machine tools were vastly expanded by the war. In 1940, 23% of machine tools in use were less than 10 years old. By 1945, the figure had grown to 62%. The industry contracted rapidly after 1945 and would probably have gone into a depression had it not returned to wartime levels of output during Korea and remained that way throughout the Cold War. The R&D complex, likewise, was a creation of the war. Between 1939 and 1945, the share of AT&T research expenditures made up of government contracts expanded from 1% to 83%. Over 90% of the patents resulting from government-funded wartime research were given away to industry. The modern electronics industry was largely a product of World War II and Cold War spending, e.g. for miniaturization of circuits for bomb proximity fuses, high-capacity computers for command and control, etc. The jumbo jet industry would never have come about without continuous Cold War levels of military spending. The machine tools needed for producing large aircraft were so complex and expensive that no small peacetime orders would have provided a sufficient production run to pay for them. Without large military orders, they would simply not have existed. The aircraft industry quickly spiraled into red ink after 1945 and was near bankruptcy at the beginning of the 1948 war scare after which Truman restored it to life with massive spending. By 1964, 90% of aerospace R&D was funded by the government, with massive spillover into the electronics, machine tools, and other industries.